Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So great to see all of you on the segment of Ask a Question series with Hadith of the Day. Let's read today's question. It is being relayed on the screen here. With so many travel restrictions and changing conditions due to COVID, I cannot realistically meet potential suitors with my family and I'm worried I will commit to someone without truly knowing them. What should I do in these circumstances and what advice would you give to youth looking to get married? What should we look for in a spouse? So this is a wonderful question and mashallah it's also a loaded question. So first of all, uh, you are absolutely right that with the pandemic uh, there are all kinds of travel restrictions. Uh, right now we are seeing some kind of ease in some countries and some parts of the world for the travel and flights are becoming a little bit more numerous than they previously were uh, and, and, and therefore uh, travel is becoming a little bit easier. But the point here is, the question is that um, if I'm trying to meet a spouse and uh, I may not be able to do so because of the restrictions, uh, what should I do? I may not be confident and absolutely satisfied if I'm marrying the right person. Number one advice is do not get married to a person you are not absolutely sure about whether this will be a suitable person for you or not. Do not rush and do not hasten to get into a marriage when you don't even know whether this person is the right person for you or not. Uh, so the second piece of advice I have is uh, to do your diligence and use whatever is at hand. So when we are getting married, the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad, peace and blessings upon him, told an Ansari companion that, have you seen the person? Do you know about the person you are intending to marry? He said, no. So the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad, peace and blessings upon him, said, go and discover and go and investigate and do your part to figure out whether the person is suitable for you or not, whether you are satisfied with that individual or not as being a marriage partner. So what that means is that we need to do our due diligence before we make a commitment that we want to marry someone. So if you can't travel to be see the person that you want to marry, use technology. Uh, the traditional manner is that uh, we ask about the person. We, we ask, who are the friends? Talk to the friends of that person. Uh, uh, who are the associates? Uh, you know, ask people, uh, relatives, friends of that individual and figure out uh, some points about that individual. So the point is do due do diligence, meaning that do your part in figuring out whether it takes a week or whether it takes months or even years to figure out whether that person is the right person or not. Do your part until you are not absolutely satisfied. Do not go ahead and get married. And uh, finally, the last part of the question addresses what are the, the qualities we should look for in a marriage partner. Everybody is different. What I may want in a marriage partner, that's not that's not necessarily what you may be looking for. So it depends. But in general, some of the things that uh, one should be looking for is maturity and responsibility, loyalty and commitment, uh, also uh, kindness, good character. These are all things that we need to look for uh, in a marriage partner. Marriage should not only be about how financially stable a person is, even though this is important, it should not only be about how a person looks and appears, uh, meaning how handsome or beautiful they are. These, these are important factors, but they are not the factors that will sustain your marriage. It's more the inner qualities of maturity, responsibility, kindness, respect, loyalty. These are all great um, uh, traits that one should be looking for in a marriage partner. And once you do find that marriage partner, then do hasten towards getting married. I make dua and I supplicate for all the youth out there or anyone that is out there that is looking for a marriage partner.
may Allah facilitate the best of ease for you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you the best partner possible. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen your marriages. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with the best of this world and the hereafter. We'll see you in one of the coming segments. Jazakumullahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.